Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning into today's spider video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's spider video. So, day 10 will take us to the 9th of December. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. They are running to around a good week, so we'll have a good surface for you two at the end of the video. But next week, it gets us to Christmas. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video says a 6M UK weather cars. We've also released the second and final winter 2025-26 season roundup. And there's been a channel member exclusive release today, which is the 42-day forecast exclusively for channel members from the ECM at WF. Check out all today's bids. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. Right, we're going to start up with the latest wind from that from EarthNoldSchool.net. Show that got a trough of low pressure sitting over top of the country and a weather front a little bit stuck in the south and the southeast. Uh, so that's going to get out of the way. Tonight and tomorrow, we're going to build up this transient ridge from the west. It is only transient, though. Plenty of low pressure in the Atlantic, and those lows will be with us as we go into next week. The unsettled November will end on an unsettled note, and that will carry us into. The beginning of December and the beginning of mid to winter. Central temperature is currently sitting at 8.5, about 2.1 degree above 6.9 on the average provisional to the 27th of November. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. On to London today, the red line is at the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. So only a slight above average at the moment. We're going to find the upper air temperature coming down over the next 24 hours or so, becoming quite cold briefly by the start of next week. Then we're lifting back up again and then just hovering very close to the long-term 30-year average, to be honest. Not a lot going on there. Not a particularly big uh, deviation. Uh, probably a bit of a zonal sine wave, a little bit up and down and averaging it all out. We probably come out milder than an average, although we look like we're near normal. This time of year, that kind of thing is going to uh, deliver a mild average scenario, I think. But the main story is probably going to be precipitation. Uh, lots of rainfall spikes to come. So, uh, wet today. turns a little bit drier uh, starting into Monday, but then the wet weather coming back. Um, like the first week, 10 days of December. Looking uh, thoroughly wet. Oh dear. Well, temperature normally is for the next uh, five days. It's more than December. Uh, below average in the north of the west. Scotland Island, a little bit above average for England and Wales. Precipitation anomalies for the next seven days, 6th of December. Most areas coming out wetter than normal. Right, let's go through chart data. Mr. Avalanche, you came at your room. Is looking for uh, midnight on uh, Tuesday. No oh, low pressure bringing wet and windy weather across the country. But low pressure keep on coming through into the middle part of next week and all the way up to next weekend. Low pressure carries on heading in. Winds all while remain from the south southwest directions are going to be mild, uh, but there will be outbreaks of rain and at times some quite strong winds mixed in with that as well. Right, let's go to ICOM, have a look at that one. So again, we've got low pressure in control on Tuesday. And those areas of low pressure carry on coming. Now, if I'm low pressure diving a bit further south, but with higher pressure trying to get going to our north and east around Friday, so I try to bring in something a little bit colder uh, from the east. Um, we end up, though, looking like that. So, uh, low pressure again uh, in control and in the ascendancy. Hang on, is that Friday, Saturday? <laughs> Uh, right, okay, so uh, that uh, 1880 hour chart that is actually for uh, next Friday, so we'll end at 174. Where you see we're drawing up that southwesterly flow. Uh, I guess go through the two GFS runs starting with midnight run again, low pressure bringing lots of unsettled conditions. Rather wet and windy, uh, and thoroughly wet and windy at the end of next week. Check that out. Gale force winds, both tightly packed ice bars, and a lot of heavy rain coming in from off the Atlantic as well. Pretty grim. Uh, the low pressures carry on racking through all the way up to day 10. Unsettled weather goes on. Um, right at the very end, let's get towards the middle part of December. We have a go at raising the heights across the continent. Not really coming to much. No pressure just keeps on coming up to the 15th of December. And then the GFS 6 there by comparison. Again, low pressure is in control and in the ascendancy. Bringing lots of unsettled weather in with it. Thoroughly wet and windy there. Friday through to Saturday. 
next week. Uh, and further low pressure wrapped in through. Any of these lows could become named storms, named areas of low pressure. So we'll have to wait and see. That's another one. Look at that. That's the 11th of December. That one looks thoroughly wet, windy, probably a bit stormy as well. Proper onslaught type pattern. The Atlantic throwing everything and the kitchen sink included at us over the uh, next uh, couple of weeks. Blimey. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Girls Movies and get them to subscribe too. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. About 70 subscribers gets us to uh, 20.8k. So, quick, give us up. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM. Again, low pressure is uh, dominating the weather from off the Atlantic. As we're going through the early part of next week, the low pressures keep on coming all the way up to next weekend under low pressure under the cash with the jam. Uh, right at the very end, bit of an attempt to raise pressure to our north and northeast and to our south, but this low is going to scupper all of that. And uh, will roll in and keep that unsettled weather going. And then the ECM rounds it all off with uh, low pressure again in control and in the ascendancy over the course of the coming week. Not as wet and windy as the ECM next Friday, but probably only pushing it back to next Saturday. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's just low pressure all the way there with the ECM right way up to day 10. That looks very, potentially very stormy just there with that area of low, 970 millibars. Um, and maybe it's starting to turn a bit cold right at the very end, though. So, uh, let's go further on into through the second week of um, December. Just a bit of a hint of objection starting to move southwards. Uh, low pressure beginning to take more of a southerly track, and that possibly setting up uh, a slightly colder pattern, particularly so into north. That gets the 14th of December. This next area of low, whoops, this next area of low just here. Well and truly has our name on it, but it might be on more of a subly track. There is some cold air just start, some cold air, air just starting to filter into the extreme uh, north there. See the upper air temperature. Not particularly cold, but like cooler than it is uh, right now. But that low looks like it could be quite serious actually. Um, 360 hours away though, so it's a very long way out. We'll worry about that just yet. Right, well, let's go through the precipitation forecast based on my ECM run from Tometro.com. Now, today's wet weather trade weather will stay about over Pennines. Uh, tonight becoming dry. Tomorrow, the uh, wet weather uh, sets back in again. That gives us a thoroughly wet Monday uh, across many parts of the country, lasting into Tuesday as well in some places. A bit drier briefly around the middle part of the week. Then the rain returns later next week. Uh, just a bounce of rain. Keep on coming um, all the way up to day 10 and beyond it. Uh, this is a precipitation type, well, no one to talk about. These are the options on the table. Within the ECM ensembles today, for day 10 from the ISO, Bed Times gets to the 9th of December, 15 minutes of the ECM ensembles with low pressure south southwest. Heights trying to rise to the north, but up to that point, we're still uh, wet and generally mild. 14 clean control and operation run, bring low pressure in from the Atlantic, 12 with high pressure up towards um, the north latitudes and rising to the west of the UK, and iron trough down to the south. And uh, so that might be winged in. A bit of an easterly uh, direction. Um, but, you know, overall still unsettled, though. And then at 10, with low pressure just to the west, and that's keeping the unsettled weather going as well. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It will be getting us to the 14th of December, 13 members of the East Coast with low pressure, just to the south, high pressure to the north. That perhaps brings some cooler air into the north, but the south could be seeing uh, more rain at times. We've got 12 with low pressure in from off the Atlantic. We've got 11. Low pressure keeps on coming. Uh, we've got 10. Low pressure remains in control. And then we've got 5 building up some high pressure to the east. Low pressure out to the west. And that will bring the wind up from more of a southerly uh, direction. So drier but very mild with that. All options look unsettled, really, I think, at both day 10 and day 14. So uh, the first half of December, I would imagine, is going to be substantially wetter than normal, but we'll see. 
Uh, CFSB2 finally made with Dermot. It's a 500 millibar high on breakdown week period. It's the first week period. Takes, takes from 29th of November to 5th of December. Next week, unsettled low pressure is in from off the Atlantic. Week 2 is going to be the 6th, 12th of December. Keeps low pressure right over the top of the country. Week 3 is going to be the 13th to the 19th of December. No pressure remains in control. And then uh, week 4 rounds it all up. Off. It's Christmas week. It's a 20th, 26th December Boxing Day. And a bit of a change. High pressure building over the continent. So becoming a bit drier and very mild. Exceptionally mild potentially with that. Winds coming up in a southerly direction. Of course, if we back wind south easily, then we'll start to import cooler or colder air in off the continent. But basically, uh, that is a mild setup. Right, well, if you've enjoyed the video, please give us a like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Extra thank you for doing that. Really looks like random cash, doesn't it, over the uh, next couple of weeks. Lots of wind and rain uh, to come in a typically mild, wet and windy first half to December. Uh, okay, so uh, that's it for today's videos. Tomorrow, we've got the big one. We've got the uh, 10th and final winter 2025-26 update. Of course, that is ahead of the winter forecast being released as a premiere at 7pm on Wednesday, 3rd of December. So, uh, exciting times, uh, but one more winter update come for you. Uh, tomorrow, and I'll be having a very late night <laughs> working on that, but it'll be my final one, I think, my final late night, for the time being, anyway, or maybe it'll be final late night, mm -hmm. we'll see, okay, well, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like, we'll be back with more tomorrow for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.